Hi everyone, this is uh, Soundwave TV, and this post is going to be about double standards. Things we have in society that affect one group, but uh, doesn't affect another group, or, does, or affects a different group differently. Number one, women can hit men, but men can't hit women. Now, personally, I don't think anybody should hit anybody. If you've grown, you should try to use your words to the best of your abilities. However, society has the rule. Women can hit men. Men can't hit women. Logical point, fellas. Put your hands on a chick, you're going to jail. I mean, look, I don't care if your eyeball is hanging out of your socket. Your lips can be busted and swollen to bejesus and back. She got one scratch on it, going to jail. And he's out and you got a record. And the police be looking at you every single time. So the best thing to do, fellas, walk away. She going to call you a punk. She going to call your mama all kind of nasty things. Walk away. Save your, save your, save your money. Save your career. Bam. It's out. Non number on to the next one. Non-black saying uh, the N-word. Uh, this is a this is a tricky one. I think like this it we should strive to use educated terms for those of us that have sense to try to use classier terms. I know I noticed that no one's let uh, Puerto Ricans have gotten away with saying N-word for a long time. You know uh, Jennifer Lopez. Big Pun, Fat Joe, or all they records have said the N-word at one point or another, and nobody's ever questioned them at all. But logically, as a point of logic, just don't say it. Because if you're not black, you'll lose your job, and you might get beat up. You might catch a beat down. So, if you want to so... so my Caucasian friends, if you feel free that you want to use the N-word, fine. Just know this. Make sure that your insurance is paid up and make sure your resume is tight because you might end up looking for a job. All right. On to the next one. Women and men sleeping around. That's a tricky one, too, because, you know, if a guy sleeps with, like, ten chicks, you know, he's pimp, he's mac daddy, he's... Play a player, but if but if a female sleeps sleeps around with ten different people, you know she's a trick, she's a hoe, she's a slut, she's this, she's that, and it's a double standard, but it ends up panning out because society punishes guys that don't get a lot of action and punishes women who do get a lot of action. So while it's unfair, I think it balances out. And my whole thing is like this. If you grown, my philosophy is if you grown, let your freak flag fly. You know, as long as you safe, you know, enjoy yourself, respect yourself, protect yourself. Just know, ladies, if you do, you're going to get talked about. And you're going to get talked about by other women. Because guys really don't care. We ain't got no one way or the other, you know, she just know what she want in life, you know, she want the thing, you know, she want the thing, you know, exactly. other women judge women who are exactly, who have more than healthy sex drive, so, you know, that's something to, to think about. And my last one I'm going to talk about, hip-hop gets blamed a lot for sex and violence in popular culture, and it's like, this is the most ridiculous double standard of them all because you have Hugh Hefner who's made money off sex selling sex sexiness for decades and nobody ever brings the heat to him Vince McMahon has made money hand over fist literally hand over fist with violence very violent I Thor very violent material from the WWE universe and I'll tell you, if you go to a hospital particularly after a pay-per-view you gonna see so many kids in the emergency room trying to do what John Cena do, trying to do what The Rock do, trying to do what Triple H do. More so than you gonna see somebody in the hospital for.
for a gunshot. You know what I'm saying? Martin Scorsese done kill people on the movies. Stephen King done kill people in the books. Yet is that yet hip hop gets put gets the main blame for putting sex and violence in the minds of the youth, which has been a staple in popular culture forever. It didn't start. It just seems that there's a problem. Like as soon as the young black guys start making money off some sex and some violence, then it's a problem. Anyway, people, I'm going to put it to you. What do you think is a double standard out there that should be addressed? Or what do you think is a double standard? What do you think about the double standards that I mentioned? What do you think about other double standards that are out there in the world? Let me know in a video response. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Soundwave803. And also, check out my homie Tony Moore, Lounging with Tony. YouTube.com slash Lounging with Tony. And YouTube.com slash The Green Screen comedy and I'll put the links below with my man Les Bless and P. Griddle. Alright, take care. This is Soundwave signing off.